Take a good hard look at the before. These babies are about to be 100% filled Ooh. up. Yeah, the strawberries do look like the mint. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. So we're gonna start one thing of melons, four marigold, six calendula, and six nasturtiums. Friends that I asked seem to be interested in extra peppers, tomatoes, and flowers. So those are the things that we're gonna plant more of. Tweezers, is that normal? I used I've used tweezers before. Quarter inch deep. Whoa. Wow, today is our last big project to be ready for gardening season. It's a beautiful day, I've done my homework, we think we have all of our supplies on the ground. I can't see any reason why today is gonna be a bad day. Some of you may notice our chive plant is missing. I've decided to move it right there. So far, so good. And our green onions, those seem to be doing pretty dang good too. You guys are gonna have to remind me to actually harvest these for breakfast or dinner one of these days. So last year I'd say probably our biggest challenge with the garden was watering. We did set up a soaker hose system. We ran two soaker hoses around the perimeter of the garden, but we didn't water all of our other little pots and beds and all of our black pots in the middle of the garden. And even then the soaker hoses that we ran weren't putting out enough water in my opinion. A lot of seeds that we direct sowed never sprouted. And when I started feeling around the soil, I felt that a lot of soil was dry. So we ended up supplementing with hand watering. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure a lot of you guys are like me. I love hand watering the garden because it gives me an excuse to come out here once or twice a day to check on things, which brings me a lot of joy in my daily life. Except this year we have a lot of projects in the works. We hope to be working back on the house soon. We're gonna have a baby on board, so we feel that getting out to the garden once or twice a day I don't know if it's gonna happen. We wanna assume that it won't, and I feel like, regardless, it's just a really good idea to have your garden watering done automatically. And you're coming out to the garden because you want to, not because you have to. So that's something I've been working on the past couple of weeks, is trying to figure out how to do that and not have to hand water any of our plants. Here's last year's nightmare. Just a normal soaker hose, no control, just soaks everything in its path, which isn't a bad place to start. However, we felt that we didn't space our plants too closely, so we we're watering a lot of space without needing to. Not to mention, I didn't want a soaker hose going all over the garden. I knew for a permanent system we were gonna wanna run it on the ground somehow, kind of in a discreet manner, and have it come up into our beds, water each bed, in a way that makes sense for that bed, and then somehow we wanted that system to extend to be able to get all of our containers. So we think we found the perfect watering system. Basically what we ended up with is a bunch of what we're calling transfer hose. It's hose, it's plastic with no holes in it and that's just to get the water from point A to point B without losing any on the way. We did purchase a bunch of 
quarter inch soaker hose, which is a lot smaller than what we used last year. I think last year was like half inch or three quarter inch. We purchased a bunch of connectors and then we purchased a variety of inline drippers and a bunch of risers, the height of our raised bed. What could go wrong? So our spigot's basically right there. So we wanna start our pipe here, and you really just wanna run one continuous thing from here to here, and then what we'll do is we'll end up cutting it here and here and here and putting a T. Gotcha. And then you'll do the same thing, you'll run a continuous all the way to this corner, and then you'll put in a T here, and we're actually gonna put a T here. There's actually a little piece of pipe like that, and this actually comes right. off of that. So you'll run this leg first, all the way to the end, cut it, then run this leg, cut it, you'll tee in here, then run this leg, and we can run these little legs when we're all done. So start with the longest one. Nice. This makes me so excited. Yep, that's super good. Hey, are you coming in here? We wondered if you were gonna help with the garden at all this year. Hmm, is that a yes? Bugaboo. Try to get up to speed on the watering plan, okay? Here. Yep, that looks good. Oh gosh. What are you doing? He's excited for gardening season. You he think? said he's gonna garden with me this year again. Oh, I, I asked him if he was gonna, and he said he was gonna. You're not allowed to walk in here once we plant the seedlings. Right, look at him go. You are not, Why are you, he thinks he's a strawberry. Why is he going from bed to bed? Look at him, walk down here on the wood like the rest of us. Looks like everything. What was this for like for a hundred feet? And it was cheap. All of it's cheap. Dirt cheap. Yeah, it's like cheaper than hose. Makes no sense. Pretty simple, huh? Pretty simple. It's all just compression fit. When she goes in, she's not coming back out, that's for sure. Does this water system excite you as much as it excites me? Yeah. I hope we get ahead of the watering this year. I feel like we've done so much to overhaul our whole water plan. It's not just the garden. Like we got the well, we got the water softener. For this year, we're planning to just use treated water for the garden. You know, it's we've got tanks and rainwater harvesting plans, but you know what? One, one fight at a time. But if this works really well, it'll be nothing next year or whatever to set up a rainwater tank and just pump from that to this system. So mm -hmm. we're, one thing at a time. We're solving the right problems because if we had a rain harvesting system, we've effectively solved nothing. So. Yeah, this project excites me, and then ultimately getting it to where it's just using water from the sky yep. sounds even better. Um, if you want to start putting risers on. Right, I'll go put work down there and get another two. Well, I can work on this because I need the scissors. So. Okay. so this piece goes on the end. Oh, gotcha. And then, yeah, and that should be hose and thread. That. Okay, yep, yep, I got it. Yep, that should happen at every... Termination. Yep. Cool. So and you got, may or may not need this right. extension. If we don't, yeah, but we bought it just in case. We uh -huh. overbought because we ain't going back to the hardware store. <laughs> we learned our lesson. Overbuy, it's easier to return than to go back and get more. Especially with like five cent parts. That. Yeah, it's like 50 cents or yep. hour and a half drive. <laughs>
I can just flush the system really quick so we can start so, hooking yeah. up risers. Okay, I'll work on that. Then I can start burying because I can't really bury until the risers are hooked up because the stinking hose wants oh, to go yeah. whoop. Turns out I think this stuff is poly. It's just the little brother yep. of the two inch so it doesn't have quite as much attitude. Incoming water. I hear water coming. I hear it thinking about it. All right, take two. Real hose. That garbage hose business. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She's bubbling. Nice. Bubbly. That's fun. Oh hey, bubbly. Bloop, 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 bloop. Bloop. That one's not so bloop. 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 Mmm, yummy. I can control the water flow by just raising and lowering this hose. So ideally, we want them to come out <laughs> all of them, right? Yep. If you want to plug that one right there, and then plug the other one, or just hold it up. Oh that yeah. One. I hear water down there, so that's good. Okay. We're all flushed. Okay. I'm thinking we should hook each riser up and just flush the riser to get any mm -hmm. junk out of there. I mean, this is stuff that could sabotage the system before it even gets going, you know? Yeah. Just a little debris in that screen will plug it off. So let's let's hook that riser up and then we'll we'll flush that riser. Then we can put the manifold on and we'll just do that all the Sounds way down good. the line. One by one. We were smart and we bought couplers because I knew I was probably gonna end up cutting something a little too short and it's really embarrassing when you don't have a pipe stretcher. Because of that, we're still in business. Um, so we're ready to flush manifolds, okay. just a couple of them. So yep, go ahead and turn the water on and we'll just see if we can get water to come out of these manifolds. Um, looks like they're both flowing. Um, I'd say those are clear. So yeah, go ahead and shut it off. Yep, we can go ahead and manifold these two. Here's the manifold for this one. Quarter. Yep, and then here's the other one. Don't know how to tell if they're open or closed. Guess we'll find out, right? They have caps on them. Work. Get this thing to lay down. Does yep. it want to lay down? I, I, actually, def I definitely like the in the bed look where we could get away. Yeah, from. I actually like that where it just tucks underneath there. Yep. Okay. Yeah, let's try to get that one. Let me hook this one up and see if we can flow these two. Yep. Ready to test? Yep. Okay. Oh yeah. Wee! 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 It's kind of fun. Bugaboo would like that. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Let's let that run for just a second. This one wants to flow because it's lower. So let me plug that off. So this riser is still lower. So let me take this upper riser off or take some height out of that. There we go. And let it run for just a minute. Okay, that's probably good. Two more down. Got it. Yep. It's not going anywhere. Tighten the whole thing down. There we go. Just keep tightening. Nope, tighten everything. Just keep tightening that one. It'll tighten everything down. There you go. Good. That's pretty good. You ready for test number two? Ready, ready. Three, four. Lost track. It's pretty good. Looking good, looking good. Last one to blow off here. Ready, ready? So 
I think all we have to do is bury and we're basically through the hard part, I yep. suppose. This is exactly how we envisioned it. Got the distribution lines all set. We knew the, the, the beds were kind of wonky. So having extra riser was definitely smart thinking. Kind of different heights. It doesn't look like it, guys, but our garden actually slopes up to the end. It's actually farther down over here. We just filled it with Water that. Water doesn't lie, right? Yeah, we filled it with that magical wood chip stuff last year and tried to tried to level it. So, all right. So why don't we do a pressure test okay. with everything kind of plugged gotcha. and turned off That's now and see if anything blows. I think normally you're supposed to put a pressure regulator on these, which for most houses would probably be mandatory if you're on any kind of city pressure, but we're using our cisterns to water here and it's gravity fed and we have a maximum of, I think 29 pounds of, of static pressure. So in theory, that's about where these systems run is about 30 pounds. And I hear weird noises coming from over here. I think the truth is we probably should have Teflon taped all that stuff. It is plumbing after all. Well, this is the most pressure it's gonna be under. So if we can get it to not leak here, I think we're good. So yeah, these six ports don't really turn off very good. They turn on really good. A couple turns on that, it'll probably stop leaking. Nope, <laughs> still leaks. <laughs> the nice thing about pressure plumbing is that it's just not rocket science. You just about, where do you want it to start? Where do you want it to end? And do you want it to leak? Right. <laughs> so that's good. Okay, so what do we do now? Let's do the side beds first maybe with the soaker hoses. Okay. I think that's logical. Okay, that sounds kinda, good. Kind of get our feet wet and then we'll move to the more complex stuff. Okay. So if you look at our garden plan, our side beds, the north and the south end, we're planning on planting just a lot of stuff. A lot of seeds will be direct sowed and they're not gonna be, like they're tiny little seeds. And we're gonna be planting them as close together and we're really gonna try to maximize our bed space. So therefore, we feel that a soaker hose is still the way to go because unlike tomatoes, we're, we're only gonna have eight per bed. We're gonna have a ton of this other stuff. So our goal is through the soaker hose to attempt to get the entire bed wet. And based on our calculations, we think we could do that with three runs of quarter inch drip hose because it should get the soil wet on six to eight, six to eight inches on each side of the hose. So let's go on the conservative end and we'll say six inches. And we have three hoses, that's three feet in theory that it should be getting wet. So that's what we're gonna test. The other route we thought about going was like a sprinkler system for just here, but I know it's not ideal to water like the leaves of your vegetables and it just seems messier. So let's give this a go on the first bed. Jesse asks a great question. Do we have a way to stake these? Yes. Thanks for the reminder. We did buy a bunch of stakes. So yeah, for this one, we're gonna run a third, a third, and a third. So basically we're gonna have to come out here with a stake, right? Like that. Yep. Yep. So these ones, they actually sit in there, right? Yeah, so stake it where you want it. Don't put it in the hose first, put the right. stake where you want it. So we want it about a foot, which is about there. Um, That's about a foot right there. Okay. Kinda well, actually, like hold on. I don't think we want a foot, because a foot would oh, be two right. of them. So we want to, yep. how do we so do this? So six inches, a foot, six inches. and a foot, Okay. and then six inches so on the other side. So let's measure six about there. Yep. Yeah, and you want it to kind of turn, I think, because you want the makes sense. hose to turn the corner. And then I'll take one of those stakes to the other end. How many stakes do we have? I think we bought a lot of them. Oh, did we? Okay. So if I go six inches in down here, about like that, and then I pull this tight. I don't think you really need to stake it everywhere. I mean, you could. Well, we, we if you're have to, I guess. Yeah, if you're concerned about it either getting pulled or moved or something. But I'd say that's pretty doggone good there. You can there. actually pull it fairly. Too. Yeah, with the stakes you can. And then we'll just trim this to about here and cap it. Yep. I think measuring is good not to be OCD, but just to be consistent. Yeah, I agree. Um, do you want to stake that where you want it? I will, if you can it. Go ahead and put your other stake in so I can work with it too. Nice. 
Yeah, so that bed took 12, the other bed's gonna take 12. Yeah. We have 30, and the tomatoes, we're, yeah, we will need some, because we're gonna have to run them like out and over. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're gonna spiral up yep. something in here, so we're gonna need a lot more. Okay. Whoopsies. Did you say Thai food? I did say if we make a mistake, that results in Thai food, oh, so there's a chance oh, that has to happen tonight. Except there is pulled barbecue chicken in the crock pot. Oh, it sounds good too. <sighs> Man, first what world, world problems. What do we eat for dinner? <laughs> Gosh. I don't think we should make a habit of rewarding ourselves for mistakes with food because it's just bad. Like That's probably a good idea. <laughs> I guess if we did that on the house, we'd have like a buffet every day. I'm not convinced I'm gonna love how wet this middle section's gonna get here. We probably could go overboard and use transfer hose, you know, to like there, but we're not doing that right now. So I guess good news is if it's just way too wet, we can do that later. Yeah, that's like, I mean, a 20 minutes to easy. fix it, snip it, put a barb thing in there, you're back in business. And the, I think this water system's gonna evolve. It'll evolve. This is like yep. water system 9.0. 10.0 is next year. Tell you what, whoever built these beds did a damn good job. Knew what they were doing. I heard tomatoes really like their soil Grimmed. just like even. Yep. They don't like it lumpy. Why don't you put a dripper right where you want the tomato plants and I'll see if I can make it work with this leftover stuff from our heat rejuvenation tank yeah. failure. Looks great. Yeah, it's gonna work good. Just put your tomatoes by the red things. Test 30? Yeah. Let's test it. Let there be water. Oh, fun. Wow, that one squirts really far. Ooh. These are going for it, aren't they? Looks like good steady flow rate to me. If I was a pepper, I'd be happy about that. Some of you sharper knives in the drawer will realize that there's only a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, where's the other one at? If you didn't notice, we still love you. <laughs> Jesse corrected me. I said sharper, not sharp. There are no non-sharp knives in the drawer, right? Did we do we sharp. account for everybody? They're not, there are no dull knives in the drawer. They're all sharp. Some are just sharper. Right. <laughs> so despite my very best planning, checking and double checking, guess what? We don't have enough <laughs> stuff. Ah! We're out of the, no. the drippers and there's no more on Amazon. I just checked, like they're out of inventory. They didn't and have we don't want to pay $20 for 10 of them. That's ridiculous. They're not available locally. And then the others I could order online from a different brand. It was Prime, but it said it's going to be here between June and July. We're not going to wait. It's going to be here between too late and way too late. Right. So we ordered <laughs> more. They are coming. They'll be here in a couple of days to Home Depot. Not a big deal. <sighs> But I think what we've done today is validate our system. Yes. Um, we also need to order a lot more steaks. We didn't nearly get enough of those. I don't think we realized how many we we're gonna 
need to kind of control things. We need more um, connectors. Yep, and and plugs. And end so plugs. Basically, so basically we more of everything, everything. <laughs> except the hose, which we we overbought the hose and we still have a lot. Somehow of we overbought everything and we still came up short. Like <laughs> right, but it's okay. And the good news oh, is, we do want to plant some seeds probably this week. Yep. But it's okay. We don't need to have the water system finished and. The garden isn't going to be in full swing until end of May, early June, so we have time. <laughs> There's maybe a half an hour total putting mm -hmm. pieces together, and yeah, it's on things that'll be planted like at the end of the planting. Right. So all good. And, and the, the 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 main things we didn't do are all the little containers, which are kind of yep. bonus things in the garden, anyways. And we could just run soaker hoses like crazy, but we really don't want to. We want to run the distribution hose to the soaker hose, so we're not wasting more water than necessary. But I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's amazing. Good job. It's amazing to see it on paper and now it's in the garden and it's working. Proof we can plumb. So I think we're curious to let this run for a little bit. Yeah. Maybe an hour. We can just check it, see how the soaker hoses but do. But yeah, we really want to see like, are the beds getting fully wet? Like how crazy can we go with planting our seeds? Don't validate so. your watering system on planting day. Make sure you've got your watering exactly. system all ironed out before What do you think? Do you think day. that's going to be enough? Well, it's only been going for like five I minutes, so I think we're good. A row of something on each side, so it's like yep. six six rows of carrots, beets, lettuce. I think if we let that run for an hour, that's one gallon per ten feet, so that's about a gallon, a gallon, and a gallon. That's not bad. About six gallons. We figured it out to be a half a gallon per square foot per week. And I think we're thinking that. In the heat of summer, we'll probably be doing this every other day. Yep, we may have to bump our watering up in like August. But last year we watered every single day, and I know that's not the most ideal. I think you do want to water. Right, you want to water less often and less more. Less often and more, and let the soil actually like not be wet all the time. So I don't know. I'm I'm happy with today. It's unfortunate to not finish a project. Oh. But that's story of our life, right? Didn't you say earlier? Oh, it seems pretty straightforward. I'm what like, could what go could wrong? go wrong? <laughs> exactly, like things always go wrong. Someone who helped us on the house was here for a different trade or skill but we were working on plumbing at the time and he made a comment that i can completely identify with he hates plumbing because you always need one more fitting and that's exactly what's happening today the worst part of this is the fittings are like three dollars is that right they're like 50 cents i mean we we overbought fittings like by for, a mile for a 10 pack for a 10 pack they're three bucks, so the three bucks is now gonna cost us 15 to get more. That, that's life. 